Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by New England Federal Credit Union. My name is Ava Saulberger. We are here in downtown Burlington on Cherry Street, and this is a brand new mural by Vermont artist Jess Graham, commissioned by Outdoor Gear Exchange. It's 206 feet wide and 16 feet tall. This mural is called Our Mountains, Our Home, and it's a celebration of all the things we love to do in the outdoors. I mean, it turned it from a kind of boring and drab wall into something that makes more of a statement. I definitely personally love community building through art. This design lends itself to bringing people in. I mean, we need people to come in. There's there's so much wall to cover. This is a massive job. And I'm just like oh, holding up traffic right saying, do you need help? I'd love to help you. And the community is getting into the act. There are people coming here daily asking if they can participate. I'm ready to go. Yeah. It's good with a brush. So where do you want us? Like to... They hand them a brush, they get to work. Anyone who's here sort of loves this community, loves Vermont. It does, it's very pretty. Thank you. So you have everybody walking by, asking questions and being interested and offering to share their time. People are stopping all the time to say thank you and they love it. Well, it's so bright and colorful that it caught my eye. And I've only been in Vermont for a day and we're walking around this part of town checking out public art. A whole bunch of people who care about the community coming together. I'm so happy. It's just Gorgeous. You know, I'd like to say vibrant art, thriving city. You know, we have the above the radar, big graffiti wall down on the waterfront. We have silos. We have the Muhammad Ali. I think it's really unique, actually, to Burlington to see so much artwork outside, and it's always a group effort. And public art is awesome. Gives people a reason to stop and enjoy something bright in their day. Having something bright and cheerful makes people probably feel a little better as they walk down the street and I've gotten to know all the passers-by, all the commuters, and people who live here, whether they have homes or not. And just seeing uh, something being done with it makes it feel like it's not so forgotten about, maybe. So this is the outside wall of the store. When we moved in, it was uh, part of the bus station. Once the bus station came down, it was a big empty wall. Oh, it was a disgusting, dirty, filthy wall. Didn't even want to look at the wall when you walked down here. Now, it's the main attraction. <laughs> What's amazing about this block is that there's so much going on. We have the new bus station, we have Church Street, and then we also have the nicest hotels and nicest restaurants in town all on this block. It's kind of a beautiful blend of all of Burlington. And now this bare wall is now a beautiful piece of artwork that will probably last for a long time in Burlington and be appreciated by many. It just shows uh, all the opportunities in Vermont to get outside and enjoy everything Vermont has to offer throughout all four seasons. Why do you live in Vermont? Most people live here for this great landscape. We have the lake, we have the mountains, we have you know, camping foliage, it's all kind of in there. It starts in summertime, so paddle boarding, hiking, camping, mountain biking, because that's a passion of mine. And then we transition into the fall. We transition again into the winter, which is about half the mural, which fits in Vermont, because I think last year we had six months of winter. Don't get me wrong, I love winter, but it's long. So I looked at Japanese woodblock prints, WPA posters. So drawing from those bo both of those aesthetics, that's how I came up with the design. So I put an open call out um, through Facebook and volunteers have been coming in mass. Jill has been integral in helping me organize the volunteers. She has brought so much art to Burlington. It's incredible. It's an overwhelming project. I mean, just the, the sheer size of it. And I honestly, I would still be back in, in summer right now if I hadn't had the volunteers just filling in shapes and and putting color on the wall for me. Volunteering on this project is really satisfying because for once I don't have to make decisions about what color's next. We just point at Jess and say, yeah, she's just telling us where to paint. There's letter combinations that dictate what color goes where. So F, C is fruity cocktail, E, S is evening sky. Right now I have blue heron and I am filling in any space that says B, H, blue heron. I've divvied out all of the gallons of paint into little yogurt containers or smaller quart containers and the volunteers come and we give them a brush that matches the color, that matches the code on the wall. Cool project to see evolve when you have all these different people doing the same thing but at different times but it's all coming together. Now you can see it's 
it's all evolving on this huge wall. <laughs> People feel a part of this. Art is is not an elitist, privileged thing. It's really for everyone and it, it brightens everyone's day. I hope that people see that many people can come together and work together on a project that's really big and going to be impactful for our city, you know, going forward. I just think as a community member to do whatever we can to sort of show our love for where we live. It's going to feel fair to everybody and I, I love that. So it really represents Vermont and our city and everyone. Nobody's excluded and that's perfect. That's what we need right now. It makes people feel ownership. It makes people feel proud. And we can say, oh, that's the part I painted. That's so fun. I personally am a big fan of public art and I'd like to see more of it in Burlington and I think more of it is coming. Like what part of my brush can I get in there? So you can see this mural in progress through mid-September, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Sign up for our weekly email alerts, or up to I missed one. That would be horrible. Oh, is it on? Yeah, yeah. You look familiar. You do you do the all the I do, and they're it. fabulous. Oh, awesome! Thank you very much. They're great. I said, by the way, I love stuck in Vermont. It's the best. It's so fun. I love watching it. Always something cool. Does painting the snow get you psyched for winter? Yeah. It's a little hot. But you just remember this next time you're freezing your toes off and just keep it.